welcome everybody to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Keith. No, you're not. I am. They don't know that. (laughs) All right, I'm Jeffrey. Fine. I'm Keith. Ruin my joke. You're Keith, and we are joined today by Ricky. Welcome, Ricky. Welcome to the Shallow Water. Glad to have you here. I'm glad to see you don't have any fire in your hands. (laughs) We're just going to say that. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Just wait. Fair warning, I guess. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We're happy to have you with us today. Um, it's been a couple of weeks, so hopefully you're all here with us. Hopefully everybody had an excellent um, holiday, safe and fun. Uh, as usual, we are going to be taking questions, uh, so start getting those in, and we'll try to get to those as many of those as possible. We also have a lot of sweet swag to give away today, um, some hats, um, We've got uh, my favorite deep apparel hat is on the offing today, which I'm really excited about. Um, (laughs) Over there. I was like, what was that? Replay. (laughs) Uh, We've also got some Lucky Duck duck stuff. We've got some Tangle Free. Um, Lots of stuff. Uh, Let's see. XL Boats has got some stuff. Deep Apparel. BPS, of course, one of our great sponsors. We love all those guys. So a big thanks, big shout out to all of those. I did remember in the... uh, the description today. I actually did put the uh, link. Uh, the I remember to put the link on today. So. Because Ambry, because I did. Everybody. I know everybody reminded, reminded me today. I, Thank I, you, everybody, I, I, for reminding yeah. me today. Um, so if you are selected to win one of these prizes, click the link at the top, fill out the information, and we'll get that sent off to you as soon as possible. So how's that for an intro? Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? It was Keith? nice. It was How nice. was your rib? You were doing bit, uh, we a did, brisket and ribs. We, we did a, no, we didn't do the rib. We, we did, did a brisket ribs. and a turkey. Got it. Wonderful. Ha- brisket versus turkey. I'll take brisket any you day of the week. You take brisket any yes, day of the sir. week. Yes. You as well? Brisket. Yeah. I'm with you as well. I'm not a big turkey fan myself. I had a little piece of turkey and a lot of brisket. And a <laughs> lot of brisket. At my house, we actually did, because um, there were only a few of us, we did Cornish game hens. Everybody so had their own Everybody had their own bird. Yeah, their baby turkey. Their baby turkey. <laughs> exactly. So that was that was fun. Um, we had a good time. Well, good. Uh, Ricky, what did you do at your house? Did you do turkey? A lot of turkey, man. A lot of turkey. Ham. Turkey and ham. Two turkeys a lot of people do that now. Ham. Not Isn't me. that like ham supposed to be for Christmas? No. Well, you know what, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So good. But you had a good time. Yes. Did, did you get out and do any hunting? I did. You did. I snuck out the day after Thanksgiving. Um, we went to a little uh, spot that I found. Unfortunately, there's no birds. But I, I got to throw a question out to you guys, Because right. they hunt all the time, and I'm. I'm just starting to you're, go out. You're an the, intermittent hunter. Intermittent hunter, and this was out on public land, not with Clint. Right. So we walk out to the little spot. We come through the cattails. We see a decoy spread. Okay. So we start calling the guys like, "Hey, little, right. anybody out there?" Whistling, no noise, but we can see the two knot heads about 25 yards away, but they never responded. I would have thought they might have responded. Say, right. "Hey, this yeah, is we're ours. here. Yeah, yeah, we're here." Exactly. Basically. But no, these two knot heads didn't do that. So. We just politely got up, moved around about 100 yards to a, another smaller pond right. and got set up. We didn't see much at all. It's kind of slow. Kind of slow. Real slow. All right. So I want to hear from all of you out there um, any strange, any weird occurrences, any fun stories about running into people out there trying to communicate with the with, uh, people who are there in front of you. Because what I thought was they would respond by saying, hey, we're here. Move on. But yeah, no, we didn't get anything. But no, there was no. nobody out there. <laughs> um, so good. All right. So, but you, you tried out your new gun. You had I a new tried, gun. I tried out my new little. Did you even gauge. get to fire it? No. No, you didn't even fire it. No, we didn't. So it's fire still it. a new gun. It's still a new gun. Very nice. Yes, but we had a really good breakfast out for hunting. Oh. Went to breakfast, but oh, you I didn't make breakfast. I shouldn't have said that because nobody else knew we went to breakfast. It was just my oh. my son in law and I. Well, now yeah. more people know. Well, now everybody knows you went to breakfast in the family. Yes, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be a situation now. Yeah, Great, it, it definitely job. will be a situation. <laughs> uh, what about you, Ricky? Did you do you get out at all this season? This uh, holiday, Black maybe? Friday shopping, man. Black Friday Ooh. shopping. Did you, you know get what? anything I good? Have a, I have a story. Do you, you, all right, I want to hear this. It's uh, it's. Not really good communication between the two ladies that were there. Not were they your two ladies or just other ladies? No, no, just some ladies. I I don't never seen them before. (laughs) Okay, and but uh, yeah, there was no communication at all right there. They fight it out. There was some blows thrown. Yes. (laughs) What store was this at? It was was awesome, man. Where were you? It was great. It was Walmart. 
Walmart. Of course. Of course. Okay, so I also... Where else does that happen? I don't know. Well, Target also... Okay, so I was at a Target on at about 5 o'clock on Thursday. Thanksgiving Thursday, right? So, and I, uh, I'm i walking in, and I turned to the person I was with, and I, they, they were like, do you know what the best thing about shopping on Black Friday is? Nothing. <laughs> There's no kids. That's true. And like that always makes it nice. And we get in there, nothing but kids. <laughs> tons and tons of kids. Right? What the what the crap? Because people don't they generally don't push a cart because you just, yeah. you're just running, right? right? Carts full of kids. And people for some reason on Black Friday shopping, like lose all sense of um of like decorum or, or like being niceness. Like, yeah, they just, no like nice, they're just cutting man. in front of you, yep. pushing you aside. It, it's crazy. Yep. Like no more politeness ever. No. But the best was my sister. The next morning, she told me this. I didn't go with her, but the next morning, my sister is at a Bath and Body Works buying lotion, <laughs> lotion, lotion, and candles. You know, smelling yeah. candles, <laughs> which is awful, to ladies, right? Like, right. I mean, six o'clock in the morning, and the lines are just out the door, right? And so they're in a line for forty-five minutes in line, <laughs> and of course, they're like two people ready at the stand, and the machine breaks down, the cash register breaks. And so they start to merge the two lines into another, and people start to lose their minds oh. as everybody's there. So she gets up to one cash register, and this lady in front of her gets up to the other and just kind of butts in front of the person on this other line. And they're like, sorry, you can't do that. And so she grabs all of her stuff and just slams it right into the side, right into my sister's stuff. And they're just like, oh! Uh-huh. She's like, oh, sorry, just moved, and just takes over right there. My sister's just like... Luckily, she diffused the situation, but... You know, ladies, man. And now I'm you just know why you. I stay home. I, there was none of that. I did a little pre-Christmas shopping. It's just the I best, got though. online at 11.05 on Wednesday night, hit a couple buttons, click, and I went to bed. Yeah. And it was done. No, that's the smart. That really is the smartest way to go. I think so. Yeah. While you guys were out fighting and pushing and shopping. I was not fighting, man. I was so a fight. And you know what? It was It was toys. It's toys. It's toys. Oh, absolutely. And there was only two on that little box. The funny thing is that the two ladies that got in a fight, they were talking just like we, you and I right uh-huh. now. They were just talking, normal. being friends. As soon as they ripped that paper off, there's like seven hands, like <laughs> eight, 15 hands. I don't even know on that one toy that everybody yeah. wants. And there's always the two at the end. And they're like pulling it. There's no box. The toy is out. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if the toy <laughs> they, it was in the they box anymore. I don't know what it was. We don't know. Oh but then, then I just started seeing punches going, oh, no. and hands full on open on somebody's hand. It was awesome, That's man. the word. Okay, here's yeah. another story. This yeah. happened four or five years ago, but we went, we camped overnight for a, for a television. We camped at a Target for, for a television. <laughs> and we got there, and we knew, by the end of the night, we knew everybody around us. There were all these people. And this one guy came, and he, he didn't really bring a jacket. He wasn't wearing cold weather stuff, and he just stood outside in the freezing. And he got there, and we all ran, grabbed our TVs, and went up to the uh, the cash register. We're all checking up, and he had grabbed the wrong one. Oh! And went back, and they were gone. He stood outside all night, grabbed <laughs> the wrong TV, and didn't get it. Was he crying? He, I I wanted to cry for him. I felt so bad. It was just so miserable. He'd been out oh. without a coat all night, didn't even get the TV. D- doesn't sound like it. fun. No, nothing I would ever want to do. I will pay full price for the TV <laughs> before I go out and yeah, do right? the Yeah, right? Oh, TV. I just hope he maybe paid for the bigger TV that was more expensive because that poor guy, oh, my God. <laughs> he, he went home and said, honey, I got I a just, better deal. I got a better one. deal. Oh, it's just the worst. <laughs> yeah. So sad. Oh. Um, so one of the things we're giving away today is... Not a TV. Of, not a TV. Okay. But one of these. I, I've got, I got a little coffee here because uh, oh. it's cold out here in the shop today. So I, this is the Lucky Duck, you know. So just keep, keep rubbing it in. You, do you have one? You don't yeah. have one of I don't have one of those. Oh. I'm going to steal one of the big ones, though, by the That's end of the series. Bad. So somebody else isn't going to get one. <laughs> Maybe if you answered one of the questions correctly. Yes. Yeah. yes. So speaking of answering it. the questions correctly, we had one of our dealers participate when we were out on the water two weeks ago. And he actually thanked me yesterday for the stuff he got. I'm like, you shouldn't have got that stuff. But they go... But Ambry loves me. But so she probably does. <laughs> so you're a lucky guy, I think. Yes. <laughs> because I wouldn't have sent it to him. I know. That's because you're too nice. All right. Before we get to some of these questions, though, we got Ricky here with us. Ricky is our lead technician. It's kind of loud out here. I hope everybody can hear me. I'm going to talk loud into the mic. Um, but Ricky, 
Um, you're going to show us a little bit of welding. You've been working on the handles, handles a lot yeah. recently. Um, as you know, we put that new football on the handle, so yes. these are these are kind of new with our anniversary edition handle, um, and this is pretty much you that puts yeah. these together. So uh, we're going to see you kind of weld some of these because I like you know you and your fire and. What is it with you and the fire? I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know what, uh, man? I don't think it's about the fire. It's not about the fire. It's the intimidation he has with the fire. <laughs> it's So if it's not about the fire, then what is it? You just get to destroy stuff, man. I, I think that's what it is. <laughs> destroy stuff. It's not good when you just like, I don't know, I mean, you stress out. It's just okay. it's so gone. It's just for sure. those five to... 15 seconds, you're free. <laughs> <laughs> no worries whatsoever. I for what's to believe come. you. I believe yeah, you. Yeah. All right. So let's. We're gonna move the camera. I want to show a little bit of what you're doing. Kind of what your station is looking like. You got your sweet helmet back here. Yep. So go ahead. And, and I just want to tell you guys, it's all TIG welded. The new handle, it's nice. It's, it's TIG welded. Um, Everything is stainless steel. I mean, that's that's the nice thing about this new handle. It's, right. I mean, it's top of the line. Awesome. You know, so. All right, we'll grab your gear, and uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. Yeah. We're going to see what, what he's got going on. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, um, too bad. You've missed it all. You're going to have to watch it later. But do like and share, please, everybody. We love it when you, when you share this program with us. We want to keep doing this. If you like it, please share. Also, we'd love to hear your feedback. So if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see, um, information that you want to get, let us know. Put a comment in. Um, we're always looking for new ideas. Always. Always. But like and share, everybody. Like and share. All right. Uh, what do we have over here? So let's move the camera and let's, let's see what he's doing. All right, so this new handle, it starts <laughs> everything just in pieces. We got tubes, you got your tubes and inserts, we call them the inserts. This is where your uh, kill switch is going to be. And it, then I put it on the, to my homemade jig <laughs> <laughs> that I like to create a lot of those. And this is the finished product. I'm going to show you guys later that. But um, I'm just going to shut up and get to work. Yeah, shut up and get to work, how about I don't ever hear that very often. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says that to you on a regular basis? Nope. Yeah, no. Well, that homemade jiggy built is nice because you can set the handle into the insert. And as he's welding it, he's actually rotating the handle so he can control his own speed because he's the speed. I like this because it's a it's a controlled flame. He's not running amok like with his torch. <laughs> the torch scares the torch is a little more. Yeah, Ricky little and the wild. torch tend to scare you a little bit. So that was it. I mean. Let it take you about 35 to 40 seconds to... Uh, yeah, I can probably do a, a complete handle in about two minutes. Yeah. Okay. And how many will you generally do in a in a day then? Like, will you spend an hour and do lunch and then... Like, realistically? Like, you how you're supposed to, how you were asked to do... I'm what I'm supposed to do, I can probably do... We can do, what, what about 100 handles in five hours. Uh -huh. Do you do you bend the handles here or they're bent elsewhere? We bend the hand we you bought a special handles. bender. Um, I mean like I said, everything we build it here. Uh, we bend it, we weld the plate onto the handle and then they come back to me and I mean everything after that is all tape welded right here. So what's the process then after this? So we've got the plate on, so what happens to it after this? I get so if I get the plate I we get the tube, we go and bend it. Um, well, well, we don't go, we bend it right we here. We bend it. Weld the plate, then come back to me, and then I put the insert, and I put the, uh, what do you want to call this, Keith? The uh, insert? Another insert. <laughs> another insert, an insert to an insert. Insert A and insert two B. Inserts, yeah. Two, yeah, insert A, and insert B. B. Why don't you show that closer to the camera? And, um, yeah, that right up to the camera there. There you go. They actually go like a puzzle. 
so it makes it easier for me. And then dig well around, put this, the tube goes in here, dig well around here. And then from there, we send it over to the powder coat. Comes back and these are wires, uh, puts the wires all through the tube, uh -huh. and it's all nice and finished. Fantastic. All right. Well, good. That's, that's <clears throat> I appreciate that. What, um, what else have you been up to these days? Um, as far as, and I'm really talking about the, um, the service series that you've been working on. Well, you know, filming those, those and, and that you're stripping in front of yeah. everybody in the whole world. That's this really... is as far as I'm going to get. <laughs> I hope so. It is cold in here. <laughs> it's not that cold. It's cold in here. <laughs> um, you know, I am actually going to be, I got this new thing. I'm going to be with Keith on the phone. All yes. right. You're getting a little help I, in there. I'm All right, a here's your, help. Okay, first off, test. What Wait, is the phone number? Is, uh, to what? <laughs> I have it on a piece of paper. <laughs> Keith, and, what's uh, the phone number? 801 <laughs> Good job. That's the main That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's the, the main general number. line yeah. to yes. Mud Buddy. But Absolutely. then Enrique and I have our own, our own direct our own lines. Business. I don't know Enrique's, I know mine. He doesn't know his because. I don't know Keith's, I don't know mine. Today, <laughs> today is really his first day. On the phones and doing phone calls and answering emails. So. so if somebody, like, maybe everybody should call in and just ask for, for Ricky. Oh, I, I agree. Just to help break him in. He's who you're going to be talking to for the next yes. few days because I will be out of town. Because <laughs> you're out of town. Yeah. Yes. So everybody call in, harass him. It, that's the only way to learn. That's right. With your heart. I'm questions. feeling a little sick right now. Kind of like <laughs> my voice is... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, sure. Where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> Southern Utah. <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to do some shout-outs here. We've got some people. Uh, Gary Harrington says, Black Friday, bought two geese. <laughs> yeah. Two geese. <laughs> That's the way to get it done. Or were they live or were they plastic? <laughs> <laughs> Frank Williams, I camped out at Bass Pro one year. Did you get anything good? I hope you got something good camping out at Bass Pro. I can't wait to go to Bass Pro. Yeah, Coming up soon. Because oh, you're going to, to be Bass in Pro. Memphis we'll here in a little in, while. Be yeah. in Memphis on Sunday. Yeah. That's Looking forward awesome. to that. Yes. So... <laughs> <laughs> Famous Keith is going to be at Bass Pro in Memphis on Saturday. S Sunday. On Sunday. So if you're wandering around, look for the bald head. You're going to get him. But I do want to mention we have a special holiday offer starting right now. Do you, do you know about this? You don't even know about I, this, Keith. No. Right I'm, now, right now? Like right now. No, like it's already I, on. I, I How about don't know. Actually, it started a few days ago. If you're checking the website, it was on a few days ago. Right now, we are doing... If you purchase a 40 or a 5,000 motor between now and December 24th, you get a free t-shirt. I'm just kidding. That's not <laughs> it. I'm just kidding. That's not it. That is that's, not a, it. that's a great price. <laughs> Woo! Free t-shirt. No, no. You actually get a $250 gift card to either Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops. So um, now is a great time to get your motor. It's a great incentive. It it's really a really is. great incentive. All you have There's to do, your answer right you just there. have Watch to, you um, you, you've got to show proof of purchase, and you've got to have that into us before the 24th, and then you have to fill out um, that warranty card and have that into us before February. Sweet. And okay, then we will get deal. you that gift card out. So get your motors. Now is a really great timing to buy a new motor. So if I buy a new one, can I get the gift card too? You sure can. Sweet. But you have to buy it at full price. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like my employee pricing better, Jeff. I figured. Um, I don't know, just build it yourself. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's really great. So that is going until the 24th of December. So hop on. That information is on the website right now. Um, it will also be up on Facebook here in just a little bit. Um, and you'll see it. We'll be talking about it a lot over the next few weeks. So now's a good time. Snag your motor. Okay. Oh, here's a good question. This one's for me. Thomas Harper, who won the boat and motor? Oh my goodness, this who is going to happen really soon. We have not actually picked the winner yet. Um, the competition has closed, but we have not decided. Although, here's what will happen. This will most likely, barring some crazy event, you will know on Christmas. Christmas, Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day, somebody Christmas is gonna, Day, somebody ooh. is going to have the best... Christmas pick me, pick me. ever. <laughs> so that is when most likely, unless unless something crazy changes, in which case we will let you all know, but that is coming. 
um, that announcement is, is coming for Christmas. That will be a nice Christmas it's gonna present. It's going to be a sweet Christmas present. Hey, so, it would be uh, better if you and I could deliver it. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> am, it's going to be a long trip out if some, for, possibly for some people. So, uh, but I yes. I get the feeling that you want to get out of the phone. Like I don't know. You mode. seem like you really yeah, want to yeah, leave, like, Keith. Where are you trying I, to go? Yeah, I am. Jeez. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs> Let's sure. see. Um, everybody, if, please like and share. If you, if you like us, if you have ideas of things that you want to... Uh, have us do. This is Ambry's phone. She gets a call during every show. She's like the busiest person ever. Um, let's see, Ben Hoffman. When will you have ten? Um, so many questions here. You've got some work. One of you two is going to have to go through and add, answer some of these questions because we got to get going. Um, Randy Webb. Both my wife and son have won a prize from you guys. Where is mine? <laughs> Randy, oh, Randy. Apparently, you're not up to I, up to par. You know, there's always next week. There is, and there's always the week after. Yes, and the week after is the big prizes. Yes, we've got so, some great Randy, stuff. You, you know, keep on the ball. Keep on the ball. So you know that for the big one in two weeks. And you can also send a little white envelope to Keith at MudBuddy.com. With a twenty dollar bill in it, and I can guarantee. Is that all it takes? Is that that keep it easy, baby? Twenty bucks. That's a box of ammo. Bribery when it goes a long way. I see. All right, we're gonna call it there, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Another big shout out to our sponsors: uh, Tangle Free, Echo Calls, Lucky Duck, Deep Apparel, BPS, XL Boats. Thank you so much for. uh, helping us out with this show. Without them, we could not do it. So really, really thank you. Also, don't forget our uh, our holiday offer. Get your motor now. If you're ever going to buy a motor, now is a really great time. Uh, you get your Cabela's gift card or your um, Bass, Bass Pro, Pro Shops Pro. gift card. Absolutely. So now is a really great time. So do that. And then tune in next week. Same bad time, same bad Wrong. channel. No? No. Oh! You're right. Oh. I know I'm right. Oh, man. I, I saw the oh. producer Ambry. Sorry. I, to the side yeah, and I was like, I know. Almost going so, upside down. Yeah. And she's like next, pointing at it. Next Wednesday is our company Christmas party. Yes. So we're going to do our show next Wednesday, 12 5 2018 at 10 a.m. Yes. Before we head out to have a nice lunch and the rest of the day off. So December 5th, that's next Wednesday. That's going to be at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We'll be doing the show. Um, we're going to have a special guest, I'm pretty sure. And not Ricky. Freddie. No, not Freddie. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, Freddy. Ooh. They're on break right now. They can't shoot. I know. Until next I know. That's, uh, now is the one time that we can get some of these guys. I know. It's hard, it's hard to get all of them. I know. Um, so tune in next week. That's at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time right here. Um, until then, have a safe hunt. We'll see you next week right here in the shallow water.